Here I'm looking at video 24 of my invention. Um, some people kept saying it t took a long time in that. I'm going to show you the output coils in just a second here. But some people wonder why it took me so long in that. I mean, look at that. I got some shavings in that down the side here. Things go wrong in that. You know, I had to readjust these uh, and that. Uh, I, I changed the way these magnets are set. I put it out a little bit further than that design. You know, I changed a few other things. So it's a little further lever arm. And I made some different changes in this. And this, like for example, this uh, one right here, coil, you know, something came loose. I'm just showing you. I'm not, I, I could fix it later. But, you know, I'm just showing you different things that's going on. I just put some magnets up here to hold, keep it from moving and that. I mean, things have come loose on this. The way this is designed, it doesn't blow it all up. I mean, it still could run with other sections on it. I'm going to show you uh, the output of this coil. Right here, this is zero readings. Um, as you can see, it's set for amps down here. This is uh, something you get at Harbor Freight. You know, and then I'm just going to kind of show you the output readings and stuff in that on this coil. We'll fire this baby up and see what it puts out. Right there you got just a little bit over a minute. I stop it, it goes back to zero. You can see the wires are still hooked up. I'm not playing any games here. This is actual output. I'll fire it back up. More than a solid amp right out of that coil right there. So I, I wrapped it with the, the, the thicker wire and that. Now I'm going to, we'll just check it for volts. I'll hook these wires up. And this one up. Okay, I got it all hooked up. Turn this on. It's at zero. As you can see, it's set for showing volts right here. Uh, alternating current, because this is alternating current here, so you got to remember this is not direct current. And we'll see what kind of output I get on this thing. Stop it and goes right back to zero. And sitting still. As you can see the wires are all hooked up to this particular coil. The wires go inside there. That's magnet wire wrapped around inside there. I'm not playing any games. I'm just showing you one coil. Okay, fire it back up. I mean, this is like the first test and stuff, and that, you know, uh, I got a lot more things to do on it. Um, like I said, you know, you can see some shavings down inside here. 
you know, where I got problems. You know, I had to, I just left that there so you can see what's going on. I don't have it on the mirror because I'm running tests now. That was just for show. I kind of moved these things back a little bit here so I can get a higher orbit height. And I put a little beefier magnets inside there because I told you about the relationship in that. You can see how it's doing in that. It's come along pretty good. Uh, I can even reverse it. Over here I have like this little switch, which I turn on and off. I could reverse it like that. We'll see what happens when I reverse it. We'll run the test here and see what it does on just that one coil. It's not doing as well. Let me speed this, slow this down just a little bit. Oh, I got some problems here. Right here in the... See, you always got problems going on like this. Yep. Yeah. I got to retighten this up here. Just give me a second here. I'll tell you, it's just never ending. It's not like what you people think. Uh, having a little bit of problems with this gear here. Came off of here. But a lot of times you have little problems in that, and it takes time to fix it. Just kind of showing you an idea on that. I tried to reverse that, but you know, no luck. I mean, I got to pull this apart, tighten these screws up. But things like this happen all the time on this. I mean, it's, it's just not something that everything just goes right and everything. But uh, basically, you got the idea of how, you know, the stuff works and stuff. In that. And it takes time in that, you know. I also put beefier magnets inside of here. See how much bigger it is between this magnet and this magnet? That way I can get a little bit faster oscillation. These are one inch magnets. These are much bigger and stronger than these. So there's a coordination between here and here on how things work and that. I know I'm going to build fixtures that go around this and stuff. I mean, you know, you get problems and stuff and it takes time. And I'm just showing you this video that I'm, going to, that I'm having problems with it. So you can understand that. It takes time. You get little things to go out. You got to go back and fix it. Just like this down inside of here. This, this comes loose inside there. There's a lot of little components and stuff. I try to build things so that, you know, I can get in there and work on it. I put uh, socket head screws down inside of here in that to try to get this so, you know, I can get in there with an Allen wrench and work on it and stuff and get and, and try to build it so it's spaced out and get into things. So it takes time and I was just trying to show you a test on reverse but I wasn't able to do that because you know you get little tiny problems. You gotta go back, you gotta work it out. That's the reason why it took me a while to show you that video and that. You know you run into little tiny problems and there's nothing you can do about it. You just gotta fix it. I had, that's the reason why I had it. I also got this speed thing where I can vary the speed that I want and that I got I got some other things I'm going to show you in that but uh, right now uh, I gotta try to fix this gear inside here and retighten that back up I also put feet here on the bottom so it doesn't move around so much on the table and things vibrate and you're always tightening things up I mean it's like here, I got to retighten this screw up over here. There's always something that vibrates loose or something, you know. It's just you get a lot of vibration in this thing. It's it's a prototype, but it's working out really good. And I'll kind of let you go. Um, I just had bad luck on that. I got to fix something, so I'm going to let you kind of let you go for right now, and keep you people informed. Goodbye.